everyone, I am going to give you guys sort of an update on my purge project as well as the storage that I have for all of my makeup and beauty products, um, nail polish products. I This video is actually going to be two parts. I will have all my makeup in one video and I will have all my nail polish in another video. This video is going to be for makeup and if you guys um, want to know how I store all my stuff, this isn't going to be a final final situation, at least for the time being. Again, I am sort of halfway through purging a lot of old products um, and just reorganizing, and I thought I would do, for my sake really, sort of an update um, on how I've condensed my nail polishes and how I've condensed my makeup and how I am, for the time being, storing everything and um, all of that. I don't do videos like this very often because I feel like whenever I do videos like this, I get more negative than positive responses to it and I just, it's not worth it to me to read all those negative comments. So um, if you have something negative to say, please don't do it. If you have something constructive to say, that's fine. Constructive is different from negative. And if you don't know if it's constructive or not, maybe don't post it. So. Just, just putting that out there. If you guys, if there's too many negative things, I'm just gonna delete this video or just like disable comments because I'm, I'm over it. But um, yeah, this is for anyone that is curious on how my personal, I was talking about purging products a while ago and if you were subscribed to me, you would know that. This is for anyone that is curious on how the purging project is going and um, how my reorganization is going. And yeah, I am going to put another disclaimer out there that this is not a like look at how much stuff I have sort of video because it's not. Most of the products I have are for collecting purposes and in the same way that people collect baseball cards, I collect makeup and beauty and nail polish products and I am fortunate enough to be able to use the things I collect so um, again if you are somebody that is going to just say that I am wasting my money I don't need to hear it so please don't comment on that down below otherwise if you guys have any again if you have any constructive things for me or if you have any suggestions I would love to know because I am sort of still trying to figure out the best um, system for me then so yeah, so let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So this is an overview of my desk. Again, this is not final in any sense. This is plainly laid out generally in how I think things are gonna go. Um, this on top of my desk is where the makeup I use on a daily basis or the stuff that I wanna uh, use up is placed and then the rest of my makeup is in the red helmer which I'll show you in a second. I have turned off the lights on my desk so that it's not too bright for you guys when I'm showing you stuff. So on this side of the desk I have this makeup bag is actually the makeup that I use on a daily basis so it has eyebrows, face powder, highlighter, blush, like literally everything that I often enough want to use and then I have um, eyebrows, mascara, concealer, brushes, lip liners, and daily face brushes. I have palettes back there. That box has beauty blenders, sharpeners, and the such. And then I have this acrylic thing that holds some extra face powders, um, lip products for daily basis, and then if I scoot you over on this side, I have another acrylic shelf that has um, cream eyeshadows on top are foundations in one box, liquid liners or liquid lipsticks in one box, um, makeup brushes, and then these are just products I need to clear out, but I didn't yet. And then the rest of my makeup is actually um, stored in here. This is a Helmer from Ikea, and I have all of my other makeup in here like I just said. So this first drawer is lipsticks. This is the same as all of my other storage videos that I've showed you. It's full of lipstick and I've actually decluttered almost half of the lipsticks that I've had just because they've been expired. Um, this is lip glosses, jumbo pencils, and any of these sort of um, hybrid lip glosses that aren't like liquid lipsticks but they're not like lipsticks either. I have them here. This drawer is face products, so you have blush, highlighter, bronzer, and um, some cream products. 
This drawer is loose eyeshadows, single eyeshadows, and then I have a couple of little palettes in here, like I have a Marks Jacobs palette in here. This drawer is eyeliners, mascaras that I need to use up, and cream shadows. The cream shadows that are not on my desk, the ones on my desk are the ones that I use almost on a daily basis. These are the ones that um, I don't use as often. I have gone through and decluttered a lot of eyeliners and a lot of cream products. I still need to do another round. And then this bottom drawer is any extras or any samples of things that I need to use before I buy anything else. So yeah, that is the majority of my makeup collection and sort of where my makeup collection is right now. I have a lot to de declutter still, but I think I'm kind of in a happy place as to how I've organized everything. Um, I do need to go through and kind of fine tune everything now, but as a little bit of an update, that's just how things are looking. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you um, are new to my channel, if you could subscribe, that would totally make my day. Um, and then otherwise, I am on vacation right now. If you guys are watching this, like when it went live, I'm out of town. But once I get back, I'll have more videos up for you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you guys soon.